here we are on the I do pages. This is the all the pages we call these little buttons here that are the different sections of of I do that uh, relate to this particular event. So again, this is the cloud home page. This is the Bethany and Gregory cloud. And this is the wedding event. You can see it's going to be on this date and we have 691 days till the big day. This is the hero image that sort of gives you a visual cue as to what uh, event you're on and also again this is for your website which we'll talk about. That could be edited here but we'll talk about that later. We'll go in sequence. So let's start off by going right into contacts. Let's click contacts. And here we are. We need to assign stars of the wedding, stars of this particular event. So by default we do a bride and a groom. We give the title of Miss and Mr. And this little red lines, you'll see them throughout the entire program. Those lines denote that it's required. So we'll put in here uh, Bethany bride. We get all cool with the Y instead of the I. And then we do over here Gregory groom just to mix it up. So we got that. So let's also add some photos. We will click on this one to add this photo. Go in here. Get this all. Get in here and get this as the, the bride. My lovely bride. We'll go like this to zoom in on me. The, the lighting could have been different. You know, we got a little bit of a, we got sun coming from over here. So, you know, it is what it is. So we have that. We'll click on save. And now the stars of this event are right here. These guys cannot be deleted. They are required. So you always need to have the stars of the show, so to speak. So that's the very beginning of how to look at that. We have little, you can look at things differently. You can click, look at it as a list, or you can look at it as uh, cards. Kind of cool. But uh, this is the very basics of that. And then later we can go in here and, and fill out all the particular information. We'll do that uh, coming right up. Let's get in on editing one of these stars. So you can see when you select a name, you have this little edit pencil that's sort of throughout the system. Um, let's just do that real quick. You can double click or you can click on the pencil. Let's just click on the pencil. So you have here information. You can edit the title. You can type whatever you want in here. If there's a title that isn't down in this list, you can obviously type whatever you want. International characters are accepted. This is the first name. Last name, you can add a suffix. A nickname to the person. Maybe she goes by you know something else you could put that in here you can enter in the email address so all of this can be put in an A list or B list that's commonly done obviously the bride and groom are going to be A listers but let's say you have a list of 250 people but your reception only allows 170 it's uh, often used uh, A and B list to sort of denote you know who can first be invited and as people say they cannot be in, uh, cannot attend then you invite people on your B list so that's what that is commonly used as there's friend of you can say friend of the you know again Bethany or Gregory but you can type whatever you want in here maybe it's friend of your friend of your mom or friend of your dad or something like that you can put in categorize that you can say what their role is in the wedding again if it's not in this drop down you can just type it in we have the gender right here and then you can denote child out of towner this grouping name is very helpful to if you have let's say a lot of people named Smith you know you can say Smith from Pittsburgh or Smith from California or Smith from Florida or whatever you can do you can group the people accordingly and this is right here just a note field so pretty cool so you can say you know one two three happy happy street uh, nice town PA you know you can do something like that so we can say sweet sweetie at elmsoftware.com again that email is not valid but it will be for this example so we have this we'll hit save so here you can see some information fills out and uh, we're looking good 
So what I'm going to do now is, if you add a new contact, you're going to get the, the vibe here. You're going to fill out this, and, and if you're going to do a lot in a row, you would just do save and new, and you'd get a new blank screen. So let's just do one real quick. Let's say uh, it's Mr. John Doe, as an example. And uh, do that. I won't give him a photo just yet. We'll just give him one, two, three, cool street, cool drive in uh, some place, California. Go like that. So if you wanted to invite, let's say, his wife, you would do save and new. And you could say Sally Dello. That looks good. She's a female, all that good stuff with save. So now we got John and Sally. They're out there in California looking cool, having fun in the sun. Let's change this though. There's no group of signs. We can do this. We can shift click to select two names. I'm going to click on this pencil. We can change the group. So let's say, oh, let's call them the dough. Go save. Hey, now this looks good. So now it's starting to get organized. So this is a nice example of getting your information in order. So we're looking good. So right now, the next thing is we're going to do a mass import via this import button. Again, a lot of times you may just be doing new and adding all your names and, 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 and doing what you got to do to get those names in there. That's, that's a valid way and a beautiful way of doing it. Um, so I do recommend that. But if you have a list in Excel and are using our template, we'll do an import.